Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an unreal process has crashed UE bloodlines 2. It's a low level fatal error or fatal error. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So you can, if you have the game on Steam, uh, you can open Steam and then make a right click on the game. Manage browse local files make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work open bloodlines 2 binaries win64 make a double click launch the game from here and then check still not working make a right click on this gaming xc file go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check or you can even launch the game from steam and then check still not working make a right click go to properties this time you can try windows 8 hit apply Click on OK, launch the game. You can even go for Windows 7 over here. Hit apply. Click on OK, launch the game. Still not working. You can even try disable full screen optimization. Hit apply. Click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now still not working. When you put a check on all these boxes, you can uncheck these boxes. You can run as administrator. Hit apply. Click on OK. Go back. You can even try to launch this exe file as an administrator. Make a right click. Click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working, you can skip Paradox Launcher. To skip Paradox Launcher, uh, you can make a right click uh, on the game, manage, browse local files. And then you can open this Bloodlines 2 binaries Win64. And you can copy this path. And then paste it anywhere. And then put a backward slash over here. Backward slash and then put this quotation mark it has to be this one uh, the quotation from my keyboard is not working so you can just copy this quotation from video description and you can paste it uh, at the beginning and after the black uh, backward slash you have to type in the name of the exe file so this this is the name of the mega right click rename and you can copy this name and then you can after backward slash you can paste it over here and then type in dot exe and then put this quotation over here at the end and then you have to give one space only one space and then type in percentage command percentage so there has to be one space so there is one space out and then percentage command percentage and then you can copy this and then go to steam make a right click on the game properties in the launch option you can paste this path and then you can launch the game this will straight away launch the game skipping the paradox launcher and then you can check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 x86 and x64 you have to run both the exe file let me close the game for now now download this x86 and x64 you have to install both the files click on it run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this command uh, run this exe file click on repair or if you see install button hit install and let the installation complete once both are installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game select properties this time in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then you can check So type in dash dx11 and then launch the game. And if that does not work, you can even try dash dx12 over here and then you can launch the game. Still not working, you can remove this, follow the next step. When you type in dash dx11 or dx12, it will launch the launcher and then you can uh, you can go to game settings and you can make like, you can even try window mode over here. If you are able to launch the launcher and then you can check you can even go for borderless full screen you can try window mode and then check try both 
Now the next step is to rename the config folder. To rename the config folder, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open Your Username folder. Now open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, select Show, put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data folder. Open the local fol folder and find Bloodlines 2 folder. Open Steam folder and then save folder and over here you can see config when you rename the config file all the same settings will be lost so make a right click and then you can rename it and now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you are using using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security or updated security and then click on windows security click on virus and threat protection Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. Again, add an allowed app, browse all apps. Go to the bloodlines 2 binaries win64. Select this exe file. Click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add again allow another app click on browse and then open this bloodlines 2 binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus program like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file. Both the exe file. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. Select your graphic card, select your operating system, and then click on Find. And on this page, you will see the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver. So whichever is the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver, click on View and then click on Download. And then run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, uh, click on Yes to allow, then click on OK, click on Agree and Continue, select Custom Option. And then click on Next and then put a check on the box which says Perform a Clean Installation and then click on Next. And once done, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Next up is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box. Click on graphic settings. Click on add desktop app. And then again, go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game. Select high performance over here. And then check. Again, click on add desktop app. Open bloodlines 2 binaries win64 select this exe file again click on ok and once once the game is added find the game in the list yeah click on the game and then select again high performance over here and then you can launch the game next step is to disable integrated graphic card so if your computer has a dual graphic card make a right click in the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter if your computer has a inbuilt graphic card like in my case it's intel make a right click and then you can click on disable device and then relaunch the game and then check once you're done playing the game then in that once you're done make a right click and you will see enable device you can enable it again now the next step is to verify the game file now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to enable or disable the steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties over here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on turn it off and then check if it is already off turn it on try both on and off and then each time relaunch the game and then check if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay do not and close all the overlay application do not overclock if you have overclock set it to default 
close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner revert you know, any kind of overclocking application close it and then relaunch the game also close all the third party applications so make sure only the stream and the game is running rest close everything including all your browsers so if any application are hidden over here you can close it from here close everything and then launch the game next step is to in use intel driver and support assistant to update your intel drivers so you can go to intel uh, go to the website intel driver and support assistant click on download now run the exe file install it and then you can launch it in my case it is already installed you can launch intel driver and support assistant it will scan your computer if there is any update you will see update all install all and then you can check in my case i have to install it again and i think it requires an update so if there is any update uh, you can update it and then you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now to try power saver mode now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound go to power options over here if you see power saver option like this select power saver and then relaunch the game now you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver relaunch the game and then check disable or enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off then turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check you might have to restart a computer and if this is already on you can turn it off like if it is off then you can turn it on so try both on and off and then check if that does not work restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate this is just an example if you can if your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try maybe 120 or 60 hertz and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to skip this step if you're not able to launch the game if you're able to launch the game you can try window mode lower down video settings and you can even uh, turn off frame generation so you can launch the game first now once you launch the game you can go to settings and then go to video over here uh, you can try window mode and 
if uh, the resolution is set to 4K, uh, you can try maybe 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And uh, the frame rate limit, if this is set to unlimited, uh, maybe you can try 120. You can set it to 120 or you can even go for 60. I will set it to 60. Scroll down. In, in my case, NVIDIA reflects low latency is already off. NVIDIA DLSS is already off. So if you're using on, uh, you can disable this frame generation. This is uh, causing crash for many players. So you can turn off frame generation. Uh, you can even uh, try FSR. In my case, I will just uh, turn it off. Now, if the uh, quality preset, now if this is set to like ultra, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium and then apply the changes. And then you can check. Now, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices from your computer, like if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it, disconnect extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect external keyboard and mouse, like if you have key, key crone keyboard or uh, Razer Huntsman keyboard, you can disconnect it, use the internal keyboard. If you have undervolted, you can be able to remove the unrolled and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.